Hi. I want to talk a little bit about a whiskey and cigar pairing that I'm trying for the first time tonight. I have a Bowmore, 12 year old, single malt scotch. And I'm trying an Alec Bradley Tempest. It's a Robusto size, which I kind of prefer. Five and a half inches long, I believe, and a 50 probably ring gauge. Could be 55, but um, this is uh, kind of got a little bit of cedar leather, if you will. Neither one is really strong. It's a medium strength cigar, right? Solid in the middle. Um, if I had to choose one side or the other of the midpoint, I'd say it's probably mild to medium. Uh, the Bowmore is an Eiley Scotch, which means it's going to be peaty and smoky, and it's a very good representation of the Eiley, I think, flavor. I think it's kind of in the middle of the various scotches that I've tried from there. Uh, and the 12 year is a pretty good age statement because it's, again, kind of in the middle of, of uh, the age brackets we commonly drink. Yeah, there's all that smoke, but not overpowering. It's a very nice balance between the smoke and the peat. I can taste the smoke slightly more up front. Doesn't linger a long ways. It kind of dies out quickly, the smoke that is. And there is absolutely no uh, burn or, or harshness as it goes down. It lingers uh, nicely in that respect and that it doesn't cause any discomfort. It's very friendly. Well, there's nothing at all wrong with that. I worried that this cigar, because it had kind of different flavors than I expected to find in the scotch, that uh, they might not play well together, but in fact, it's very nice. Um, I'd recommend it. So again, it's the Alec Bradley Tempest. And uh, this happens to be the Robusto. They have several different sizes. And uh, the Bowmore, 12 year old single malt scotch from Eiley. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thank you.